watch as a burn player. If it makes you feel any better, Desolator, my ley lines aren't really here for burn. That's just a, a side benefit. They're really here for all the hate that people are running, all the thought seizes and inquisitions that are being played right now, to be honest with you. It's not so much it's not so much the burn matchup, to be honest. It's a fine benefit of having a play set of ley lines sideboard, you know. I'll show you the list real quick. Like, if you look at it, like, on the surface, our deck isn't, like, rawr, let's, let's hate burn all day. It's not. I mean, we have a couple, you know, cards. Like, these are really clunky, but I still bring them in against burn, and I pray that we get to them, you know? Like, I, I would say burn's not usually a fantastic matchup. But here, just, it was pretty easy for us. So, I'm okay with it. On screen chat's down. Uh, okay, let me reboot it. Uh, you're right. Weird. Okay. Well, we have we have we have an option. We have a plan B. There you go. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Streamlabs. It it's been kind of fudging on the whole chat thing, but at least we have a backup. Monastery Siege. We did go deep, Trash. I I'm liking it. Is this guy just going to Rift Bolt a... Yep, he's going to Rift Bolt a Spirit. Alright. Fair enough, opponent. I like the Siege in this deck a lot. It's it's a loot. It's Okay, we're going to kill that, too. We're going to kill one of those things. I mean, this is how he gets out of this. We stop drawing live, and I run out of ways to kill his dudes, and... He's able to roast and toast all my Jaces. I mean, that's how he gets out of this. All right, Astro told on a Ghost Quarter. All right, so we're going to pitch the Ghost Quarter. I'm going to keep the... I actually think we should just go ahead and kill one of these. Um, I kind of want to keep the Astro told though. So why don't we just roast one of these Galvin Guides. Get him for one. Baby Jace, best Jace. Oh, his flip side? Yeah. I can see that. Trash says, nah, you should escalate. I kind of like keeping the S for told. What's my... I should have double-checked on my, um... What my, uh, ancestor was on. It's on one. I, I, I maybe made the wrong call there, because we're about to draw a fistful of cards. Yeah, the Ancestral's going to go off before the Monastery Siege draw discard, so we're going to get to pitch the best of the bunch here, so that's some nice synergy. But is Jace a pirate? Worst case scenario, we, we do lose this, and then we have to go game uh, three. We did get, win game one against Burn, which is very surprising. We did it We did it on the back of uh, our opponent, unfortunately, Mulligan. We thought seized him, took his best card, and then the rest was uh, history. As we're told, coming on. Yeah. See, now, now I'm regretting the decision. But yeah, against Burn, usually you're gonna name dragons, but we had the ley lines, so I didn't need to. Although, this does still stop my opponent from, like, pathing one of our threats, but we haven't seen a white splash from this guy, we haven't seen a green splash. It looks like he's just straight red black burn. We're gonna need a Gideon, or we're gonna need to make some land drops before that one works. Uh, let's go ahead and pitch the. Ooh, if I pitch Delta, then we can't have white white. I think I'm supposed to bin a Talaria, actually. Play the Astrotold. Play the Polluted Delta. Pitch the second West. Pitch the second Astrotold. I actually think I was supposed to pitch the second Astrotold, come to think of it. Come to think of it. Trash wants to know why would I want two foretolds. I probably should have pitched the second one, kept the Talaria. Actually, I should have maybe just considered playing one of the Talarias as our land drop. Because then we'd have natural pact negation, and I'm not worrying about any sort of craziness. We're going to 10 here. That's scary. Let's go ahead and grab um, Hollowed Fountain. That's what I'm thinking. Do we still have Pact for Goblin? Um, we. Do not. But I have a living end. What do we got? What do I? What would I get back if I living ended? Well, what would he get back? So he, if we don't bajuka bug him first, he'd get back a guide and an eidolon. 
and I would just get a J. So it's not a good spot yet. It's not juicy enough yet. This this living end isn't juicy yet. But we do have all the pieces for it. We've got a way to find the living end. We've got the Astrotold. So if we do manage to get this board state into a juicy, juicy board state for the reanimation, I certainly should do it. Bog first? Yes, we would want to bog first. I might just be ancestraling, honestly. I think we can just bury him in card advantage, to be honest, stream, and just start hardcasting Gideons. Opponent fetches. Okay, you got it, opponent. Oh, there's your other white source. Okay. Um, well, I don't even know if we need it. You're right, I should have pitched the other Astrotol. We probably didn't need that many Astrotols. Let's go ahead and, um, although, I mean, they start to go a little crazy, I'll admit it. Is it better for me to play the Jace here, or is it better for me to Ancestral? Actually, we could Ancestral... Let's transmute. We could find, um, we could find, um, yeah, I mean, you know, very, very tempting. All right, we could find blue source for the Jace as well as the draw three. Oh, there's your Blood Baron of Escopa and the Living End. Well, there you go. GG. Um, so we can, we can play the Jace. We can play Baby Jace and, and then next turn we get to Blood Baron him. Yeah, it's, it's likely over. I don't even know if I, I maybe I'll just block the goblin guy. Well, no, no, no we have pact negation if, if something really goes wrong. We're flipping this J so we get to flashback things like brutality. Another goblin guide, hello. Trash says don't attack here. I think we're fine. Don't panic. Whatever you do, just don't panic. Jace the Ancestral, actually. Maybe I should have done that. Well, I just think this... I, I think Bombala just... I think this is just... This is a board state where we don't really want to use the Living End. Actually, that made things worse. I'm going to bring that back. Sorry, guys. The board state actually seem more organized with the chat up. So you guys having a good night tonight? I know it's... Uh, what is it? Uh, in America, it's... I'm saying it that way. I'm living in America. It's uh, it was Memorial Day weekend. I think it's still going on. Um, yeah. Your dice. Your deck gives me fond memories. Good games. He says fond memories. He must have played something like it. Go, says Kyrie. Actually, I have a minute, Kyrie. Uh, it's only 10:33. Um, we're gonna put a pause on this real quick stream. So I owe a brew session to Kyrie. So I'm gonna put a timer on the clock as soon as we open up a fresh deck list. It's brew session time. So come on down. We're gonna brew. So Kyrie, thank you so much for the subscription. When you guys sub to my channel, you get an hour brew session with me. So this is gonna be Kyrie. This is gonna be your. Zuberator, I don't know. Zuber Reanimator. Zubra. If you come if you have a different name you want to use, just let me know. So this is Kyrie's deck. This is gonna be for modern. Um, now I had some ideas I was shooting to Kyrie and I were we were talking uh, on and off stream, so I was thinking maybe uh, we'd consider collect a company. He was already considering gifts. I think gifts is a fine option. Because the cool thing about gifts I'm given in this list is that you gaining full value on that. Because you, you want there to be dudes in the graveyard and you like... Like, this would be a deck where you, the full four, um, you get both sides. But we'll think about that. I, collect a Company was another engine I thought about. Let me pull up your list again on the side. I have a little bit of a framework. Kind of remember the cards that 
you and I were talking about. Right, so you had things like... Looks like your Builderon card was the Blue Zebra? No, it wasn't. Your Builderon was not the Blue Zebra. Really? I thought that was, like, the best one. Alright, I'm already gonna take some liber liberties with your deck. I like the Blue Zebra. Zebra. Kyrie says, but it was red-green. I'm gonna make some changes, my friend. So, um... Not that Zubra. I kind of like the two-drop Zubra. This one. I even have some. What about Floating Dream Zubra? But you wanted red for the burn kill? Well, I mean, like, you're a creature deck. Like, we could try to borrow Caverns of Souls. And then, like, you're, you're, you're not as in deep. I mean, I actually don't know about the, the gifts. I actually am more interested in maybe even company. Um, or even just... Um, you have Vizera Seer as your sacrifice engine. If our opponent's more aggressive than us, maybe we want. Th okay, so you wanted to you wanted to try to burn them out with Ember Fist. Is that what you're trying to do? Okay, so Ember Fist. All right, I'm with you. Yeah, so I like the draw Zubra. I like the burnout Zubra, and then the green Zubra. Right, is the mixed dudes. This one makes spirits. So that's valid. So probably these are the Zubras you want. It's actually rub-colored. Um, I mean, the, the next issue I have is, is there a sacrifice engine in these colors? I mean, Vizier Seer is the best one, but then you're in black. Um, Rally the Ancestors and Return to the Ranks are really what this deck's built around, though. So... What does black do? Discard. Kyrie says play Spawning Pit. I already have returns. Cool. Spawning Pit. Okay. Oh, well, there you go. So that gives you a, a Sacrifice Engine. Okay. If only there was something like that for lands that was valid for a deck we were brewing the other day. So some number of spawning pit, I'm with you. That does make sense. Gives us a sacrifice engine that we don't necessarily have to splash for black. Uh, and then other than that, uh, let's see, Rally the Ancestors. Now, I prefer Return to the Ranks because then it's up to us to do the sacrificing. This one, and then this one's Exile. Does that synergize? It's Dies. So my issue with Rally the Ancestors is unless you have a Sacrifice Engine, these Zubras go away and don't do anything for us. I actually think your build around card is this. No Fantastics? We could run Fantastic Image. We could run Image. My issue with Gifts is it's not going to put the creatures onto the table for us, whereas Collected Company would. Um, that's a thought. We'd have to get vials for this thing, too. This might be something that we just brew, Kyrie. unfortunately. I'm trying to think. I think I only had a few tickets left of budget, um, left for the stream. So, I mean, maybe we won't go with the vials. I'm not sure. Yep, yeah, but Rally goes with Evangel. What about Immortal Servitude? Um, Servitude... Unfortunately, is a lot of white. I would I would just keep the deck to these engines. Maybe even just company in turn. Um, what is the card I'm thinking of? It's an enchantment. It's like creatures you control tap for mana. Was in standard not too long ago. It might even still be standard legal. I, I never played a deck with it, but it's uh, it's interesting with decks like this. That need of mana, need mana, the need mana, need more mana. New red green legend that gives your board haste and Genesis wave. Link a chain spiral. Take a look. What is the card I'm thinking of? It's a two drop. 
Come on, somebody in here has got to play standard. I know. 